Mr. Mixer, GarageBand Guru. Just a quick video on how you can get the most out of your keyboard. So this is the main keyboard that you have in the GarageBand, not the smart keyboard. So when you do open up a keyboard and you're going to start a song or you just want to mess around and no recording at all just to get some interesting sounds, it's good to know some of the features of the keyboard area. One thing that's important to know is like for example here you have your octaves so you can change octaves which is important you can have a sustain here let me get that volume turned up sorry about that so notice say have a sustain here well, many people don't realize too, you can have a sustain by holding it too, so you can actually control it a little bit more. Let go when you want to take off the sustain. Okay, then you have the glissando, the scroll, and then some of the keyboards too, you'll have the pitch here. So you can go back and forth with those. Scroll your keyboard. You're not going to use the scroll too much. Uh, go to the scale, and you have the different scales here which are very very useful you can go to a minor pentatonic major pentatonic and you can divide it into two keyboards then you can scroll here and slide around your notes you can get a lot of sounds within the screen itself which is uh, very very practical so let's turn off those scales and then go to the simple keyboard again uh, one thing I want to share with you too is that you can do the arpeggiator and mess around with that has some very interesting features there too with your keyboard uh, when you do click uh, press here to grand piano know that you have 80 different keyboard options here plus because you have also the custom so when you look at this you see that there's only eight but there's actually ten screens here because if you will go here to classics there's another 16 here you have 8 and then you can slide over and get to those other 8 so you have 16 on your bass button you also have 16 your leads 16 the pads 16 the effects only 8 and then your custom button here is what I'll show you in a second so you have 80 basic keyboards here which are amazing uh, keyboards that you can use in all sorts of different effects and songs or what have you, whatever you want to. So when you are trying to just mess around with some of them, like let's say we go to, <coughs> excuse me, you go to the leads and you try hyper dance. Let's turn it down a little bit. Let's say immediately you don't want that. You can touch here if you want to or you can just go to the next one by sliding over, swiping. Light circle, reverse engineering. So that's kind of handy if you want to just try out different things. And then remember what you're doing. Let's keep this one and I'm going to show you how you can make a custom. So when you do have this on here and you don't want the velocity to change very much you can pinch it together bring it up and bring it down or you can you know leave it to where it was so basically if it's open that that way you can have real soft touches and hard touches on your keyboard depending on how you strike it so it'll recognize that with its accelerometer so uh, the pitch you can mess with and the mod or you can go here to your cutoffs and sinks, the volume attack and the volume release to make all your different custom sounds. So here's the way the sync sounds in the beginning. But if you were to change it, let's say you like that. Now you just go hit here again and hit save. And you can put in the same title if you want to. Sync lead and then just put two if you wanted to. So it's based on the sync lead configuration you have it here. Saves it in your customs. So 
it's an infinite amount of sounds and effects you can make with the keyboard. I just thought I'd share with you some of those features and keep playing around with these. You're mixing bars and quantization, transposition you can do and echoes and so there's really no limit to the amount of things you can do with the keyboard. It's pretty amazing. That's not even counting the sampler section too which you can use as a keyboard and making funny sounds too. Like if you want um, like here's a sampler it's open here you can save a bunch of samples and do barking and giggles or invent your own like I did so, so just some features using the keyboard and hope you enjoyed the video thanks